Leonardo Cianciulli. The love of a mother is a great thing, except when taken to extremes. Case in point, Leonardo Cianciulli. In Italy in the late 1930s, Cianciulli's son was drafted. Believing only human sacrifices could keep her sunny boy safe, she brutally killed three of her neighbors. She then boiled them and turned them into tea cakes and soap, spawning her nickname, the Soap Maker of Correggio. Number seven, Myra Hindley. Derided by the press as the most evil woman in Britain, Myra Hindley and her partner Ian Cross carried out the Moors murders in the early 1960s. Their victims, whom they also tortured and sexually assaulted, were five children and teenagers. Hindley's coldness and indifference to her deeds made her one of the most reviled women in the country until her death in 2002. Number six, Mary Ann Cotton. Some people just can't hold their arsenic. Just ask Marianne Cotton, a notorious 19th century British serial killer who even inspired a child's nursery rhyme. Cotton is estimated to have poisoned as many as 21 people, including 12 of her own children, three husbands, her mother, and a lover. But the hangman got back at her. Legend has it he intentionally used the wrong length of rope so her death would be longer and more painful. Number five, Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden of Massachusetts also inspired a macabre nursery rhyme, but hers is inaccurate. Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax, and when she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. Mrs. Borden only got 18 or 19 wax, her father 10 or 11. Also, there's a lot of debate as to whether Lizzie really did this dirty deed at all. The jury at her 1892 trial acquitted her of the crime. To be honest, we can't be sure either way. Not because of the evidence, but because the nursery rhyme is so damn catchy. Number four, Belle Gunness. Gunness is thought to have killed at least 25 people, but the real number might actually be closer to 40. She killed her own children, as well as a long string of gullible husbands and suitors. Called a female bluebeard, the fact that the supposed corpse of the murderess was several inches shorter than the six foot tall Gunness. Number three, Ilsa Koch. It's tough to choose between Ilsa Koch, the bitch of Buchenwald, and Irma Grisi, the beast of Belsen. Both were vile Nazis, but we give the edge to Koch. The wife of the commander of two notorious concentration camps, Koch tortured and defiled prisoners and enjoyed selecting those destined for the gas chambers. Supposedly, she also cut tattoos from dead prisoners to keep as souvenirs. Convicted of crimes against humanity after World War II, she later hung herself in prison. No tears were shed. Ilsa was charged with personally selecting prisoners for murder. A gruesome selection of skins and shrunken heads was shown to the court. Number two, Mary I of England. Kings and queens have been known to kill at the drop of a hat. Mary I of England, also known as Bloody Mary, was more systematic. Wanting to restore Catholicism to England, she simply burned a bunch of Protestants, 283 to be exact. Her most heartless murder may have been that of the Archbishop of Canterbury. He renounced Protestantism and rejoined the Catholic faith, but she went ahead and burned him anyway. Not bloody sporting. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. I want to come clean and tell the world that killed those men first degree grabbed and killed and came from many witnesses. The abattoir worker who turned her skills on her husband and served him up for the kids. She wasn't mad, she was just evil. Tinning was convicted back in 1987 of killing her four-month-old daughter, Tammy Lynn, smothering her with a pillow. Tinning had nine children, all of them died in infancy or just beyond. His wife, Rose, was convicted of 10 counts of murder, including that of her own child, Heather. Number one, Elizabeth Bathory. And the most evil woman in all of history, Elizabeth Bathory. A Hungarian countess of the 16th and 17th centuries, she enjoyed luring young women to her castle to torture, mutilate, and kill them, just for kicks. The estimated number of her victims goes as high as 650. Legend has it that Bathory bathed in the blood of her victims. It's probably not true, but we wouldn't put anything past the blood countess. Do you agree with our list? Who do 